All right, so we are all bound up. Now, if you know anything about me, we go hard and fast. We're doing all these right now. I'm going to give you a little story, tell you a little bit about what's going on, but then once I'm ready to roll, that will be fused inside of three minutes. So, white gold, yellow gold, rose gold. I have the least experience at rose gold. We're going to do that one first. Like to elevate that. That's pretty good. Well, actually, that's a good idea. All right. So, charcoal block. They're perfect for pulling out impurities. We're not going to be using any flux for two reasons. Number one, we're not using any solder. There's no point for flux. We're waiting for one of these metals to melt. If we do it right, it'll run. If we don't do it right, the flux won't work. Won't matter anyway. Also, well, essentially, we're going to be. Um, we have steel binding wire involved. So if we use flux, theoretically, we could bind that wire right to that billet. We don't really want to do that. So let's set up. We're getting going. All right, lights out. So first, let me just tell you the weapons of choice. We're going to be using two. Let's see if I can get you there. Just so you know what's going on. There we go. Get these at Home Depot. It's a burns matic TS-8000, I think. So we got two of them. So you're going to see flames come from the left and the right side. The one in my right hand, which will be on the right side of the screen. That one is really just creating the vacuum. The one on my left hand is, I'm left-handed. The one on my left hand is going to be moving around a lot more than the one on the right. That's going to be doing all the labor. So I'm going to be pushing heat as I need, as I see fit, getting... Once I see the whole thing, the whole the, the general concept is this thing has to heat evenly. So the binding wires are great for that. If one of them starts to glow too much, you really get an indication that you're focusing heat way too much in one area. You got to get this done evenly. Once it's at the melting point and the silver starts to run, simply a matter of guiding it in. So, uh, we're going in this order. Rose gold, yellow gold, white gold. This should take less than five minutes. Deep breath time. And we're off. for you. That's better. Alright. Alright, you see it glow? Fusion. That one's done. Not good. That'll do. Just like solder. Works like solder anyway. Shiny. Fusion. That one's done. For some reason, I don't like the way the white, the yellow gold comes out when it quenches, so we're going to let this one air cool.
These are nice, even lines. It's a good place. Lastly, white gold. Don't touch hot charcoal. I just did. Okay, white gold. Alright, we have most few we have mostly have a fused billet. We also have a breach. I don't know why, but one of the top layers came up. But that's actually not a problem, so we can put that back down. But for the most part, that was oh, I gotta forge weld this one, but we're doing good. Bear with me. I have, have don't mind me folks. I have no idea what I was looking at. There's a shadow in there somewhere. I picked it up. Oh, whatever I'm seeing is there. So I'm just looking for even heat now. You get even if you see a stripe. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not attached. You got a piece of metal up there. Easy, beautiful fusion. Three up, three down. I haven't unraveled them. I don't need to. I know what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm going to unravel them, obviously. But they're done. So. You know you did a good job when you take them out of the water or if they cool off and the binding wire is loose. Well, and lights on. Yes, I know I ruined my charcoal block. I ruined a lot of charcoal blocks. It's a shame, I know. Ow, that was hot. Because when you, um, all right, so obviously when they, when they fuse, they shrink. So... If that binding wire is loose like that and comes off clean, uh, if it doesn't fall apart, that is. One, one of two things will happen. It'll fall apart. <laughs> but if it doesn't fall apart and that binding wire can jiggle around like that, it means compression happened naturally because it shrunk. So let's see. Can I pull this apart? I cannot pull this apart. This is fused. Okay, next up is cleaning up the billets. So, give me a minute, let me take them out. Always worried they're gonna come apart, even when I know they won't. There's something wrong with me. Um, like I've literally ne never, not one, not one has ever come apart. Um, one is out of the wire completely and still in one piece. Two out, one piece. <laughs> I 
All right. Three nice billets. One piece. One solid. I tore my gloves up. I'm a. I'm an animal. I don't, I'm a crazy person. I don't care what. Nope. You have to be a crazy person to do what I do. Because nobody told me to do this. One day I was like, wait a minute. So you can do that? I'm going to get some gold and do that. This is an expensive plate, uh, experimental substance. Anyway, now we pickle. Next step comes up. But it's a guarantee from here. I mean, it was a guarantee before here. I don't fail. Not usually. But... This is, uh, these can't lose. These look really good, number one. They're really even. We got one bad layer there. See that? That shouldn't happen. But if you look inside, it's not because it's the lamination, it's because it's a short layer. Like an idiot, I made a little boo boo. But that's okay. Compression will take care of that. We'll get around that. We'll make that work. That's the white gold one. I'm actually happy about that because white gold is white gold stuff. White gold's like iron. Folks, we're going to get to work. We got a lot of stuff to do here. I'll talk to you soon.